Hey friend, in this video, we're gonna be talking all about supplies. I get asked quite frequently, what supplies do you use? Why do you use them? And what's the difference between things like hot press paper or cold press paper, student grade level paint and professional and all of that. So I am going to be talking all about the details on supplies in this video. If you're ready, then let's dive in. This video is sponsored by my Mary Blue, Princeton, uh, St. Cuthbert's Mill, the supplies that I use. I was using these supplies before that collaboration even started. I love these supplies and it would change nothing whether it was sponsored by them or not because I love them so much. Okay, so first things first, you guys know, especially if you've been following my channel or my Instagram for a while, that I've been loving and using Princeton brushes for about 10 years now. They're absolutely phenom. Um, I'm not a huge fan of natural hair brushes because of all the cruelty and things, and they're just a heavier price point. Um, so Princeton, especially the Heritage Series, it's a synthetic sable, synthetic Klinsky sable hairbrush. Um, and I've been using the Heritage 4050 series for, again, for about 10 years. Um, and then recently, this last year, I started exploring filbert brushes and fell in love, especially for painting flowers because it has that natural petal shape with the actual shape of the hair of the brush. And so Princeton didn't have a filbert brush that I liked. They have a size eight in the Velvet Touch series. That's a great brush, but I wanted something fatter. I wanted something in a bigger size. So we collaborated together and made the Blooms brush, which came out this year, 2023 and it's available in Blick and Amazon, I'm pretty sure. But anyways, it's a super bouncy, snappy, perfect for watercolor. So that is one thing that you wanna keep in mind with your watercolor brushes, um, is the snappiness, the bending, and also how well they snap back into their form once they're wet. So that is one thing you really wanna look out for in your watercolor brushes, is their snappiness, their bending and their form. How well can they get back to their form once they've been wet and pushed around and all of that. So Princeton, I was sold from day one using these guys about 10 years ago and obviously love the new brushes that they come out with in their Aqua Elite series, the Blooms brush that we collaborated on and everything. So huge, huge fan of Princeton Heritage 4050 and the Velvet Touch series and the Aqua Elite series. So all of the watercolor lines they have. Next up, uh, let's talk about my paint. I have recently switched over, recently as in like about a year now, switched over to my Mary Blue paint. My Mary Blue is the watercolor line from my Industria, my Mary, it's an Italian brand. And they have loads of colors inside the My Mary Blue line, the watercolor line. And so I did a few months ago, I did a color swatching video of their entire color list from the My Mary Blue uh, line. So there's like hundreds of colors that I swatched. Check out that video, it's an awesome video. And I narrowed it down to 20 colors that I love and have in my ceramic palette that you guys see in all my videos. Um, these are all 20 different colors from my Mary Blue. I have a color list linked below if you wanna check it out. Also in my free Complete Beginner's Guide to Watercolor ebook if you wanna grab that. But then me and my Mary Blue collaborated on a starter set or a six pack of my favorite, it was really hard to narrow down, my 20 favorite to six of my favorite ones. Um, and I was very intentional about the six colors that I put into this set that we have that we collaborated on together. It has my cute little watercolor packaging on it. It's available at, on Amazon and Blick, by the way. Um, but I was really intentional about which six colors of the 20 that I love do I include in the box, in the set, because I wanted to make sure you got a good range, that there is great ability for color mixing and going muted or vibrant. So there's a great selection in there, but I really love my Mary Blues colors, whether it's the set of six or any of the colors that you use from their entire line because of how rich and vibrant and creamy they are. So the texture is just a really velvety, buttery, creamy feel in watercolor. And I love that texture. Yes, I love painting really translucent and transparent layers as well. And they do a great job of getting really light and transparent lifting as well. Um, but I, I just really like the texture, the creaminess and how vibrant these colors are. I also, when I first swatched the color green gold uh, from, from the My Mary Blue line, I instantly was like, boom, in your face. <laughs> 
Green gold, I love you so much. I will paint nothing else but green gold for the rest of my life because it is a fantastic color. Um, so very much love these colors. They are professional level watercolor pigments. I always recommend professional level just because of the quality, the richness of the color and the pigments used, um, and just how well you can use certain techniques, lift color, all of that. So huge fan of my Mary Blue, fell in love day one when I, when I opened green gold and started painting with that color specifically. And then the paper that I've also been using more recently is Saunders Waterford by St. Cuthbert's Mill. Um, it's kind of got a similar vibe to Fabriano in terms of how white it is. It's kind of like a really soft off white. So it's not bright white and it's not too yellowy, kind of like Arsh. Um, and it's also not too bumpy like Arsh or Arches, however you want to say it. It's still a cold press paper, but it's a softer texture than Arches or Arsh. Um, and it's more similar to Fabriano. So it's a really nice, high quality, 100% cotton paper. Um, I love this paper. I was having issues with a brand that I was using previously before with like a lot of blemishes and scarring on their paper coming and not being able to use the paper cause it had like a little mark on it or whatever. And so I started just kind of exploring different papers, landed on this one because I just really love it. I also just really love the crisp whiteness of this paper because I do paint slightly more bright or vibrant colors. Um, it helps to bounce that light off and make things feel even brighter. So it's not like a soft yellowy white, it's more of a crisp white. And in combination with my favorite colors, my favorite brushes and, the, and all the supplies that I use, this is like my go-to set. If I could, you know, travel, paint in my office every day with these three brands, I would be happy. Obviously there's a lot of amazing brands out there and every artist is different. And I always encourage every artist to explore and test out their own supplies. If you're wandering the, the aisles of a uh, art supply store or something and you're feeling called to try something out, go for it. Every artist is different, but these colors, uh, the paper and the brushes that I use, I've been a fan. Ma major, major, mega fan. That's obviously why I'm even creating videos like this to spread the love. So if you're looking for high quality supplies, I also have a really great blog post on supplies. If you go to jennarainey.com forward slash blog and type in supplies in the search bar, or you can type in paper, watercolor paper, watercolor paint, etc. I have three different blog posts that all talk about the reasons why I, uh, pros and cons, what to look out for, for each type of supply and go into major depth in those blog posts. We'll link to them in the description of this video as well. So you can check them out and to thank these brands. Thank you. St. Cuthbert's mill, my Mary blue in Princeton. Um, you guys know I'm obsessed with your product. I'm obsessed with working with you guys as well. And thank you for sponsoring this video as always, for those of you watching, Thank you for watching, engaging with our videos, liking and subscribing does a huge, makes a huge difference in sharing the good news of watercolor, spreading the news on the algorithm of YouTube and also boosting our channel. So thank you guys for every bit of engagement. It really does mean the world. Thanks again for watching and I will see you in the next video.